Welcome to the Stockboy Gaming Channel. We're looking again at this new HSW, Devastate, Devastate, whatever you want to call it. This time it's going up against the best supercars in this new HSW class, the Weaponized Ignis, the Cyclone 2. It's going to be quite the battle and this is a good example of why I test for everything you see on the screen there. Quarter mile times doesn't give you the full story of performance for these cars so you're going to want to stick around and see how this all shakes out. Overall performance is what we're about on this channel. Devasty, Devasty, whatever we're calling you. You're on the left side and then we're going up against the weaponized Ignis on the right. You can see it is really close up to that eighth mile line. Only five hundredths of a second separate them. They're moving really fast, but that Devastate pulls out a little bit on the Ignis at the quarter mile. It was about a tenth of a second difference. And then by the time it gets to the half mile, it drags that distance out a little bit more. So this Devastate can move and we're gonna put it up against the Cyclone 2. And if you've seen the Cyclone 2 on my channel before, it's fast, be ready for it. This thing's gonna go. Can the Devastate keep up? That's the big thing. To that eighth mile line, it's not looking good, but that's where the Cyclone excels, is that initial acceleration. It's gonna pull to the quarter mile and it's extending that lead on this Devastate. That Cyclone 2 is still unbelievably fast and I was hoping the Devastate would be up there with it, but we're not quite there yet. So as you can see here, if you saw my last video on this new DVST-8, you know that I had some issues with quarter mile with this new version of the game. Basically, now this car, the Cyclone 2, does an eight second quarter mile. It's absolutely unbelievable. Now that I know how to calculate these appropriately based on the changes they've made in the Rockstar Editor, that is fast. And I'm gonna make another video with all the drag times so you have those updated times. The order didn't change, but the times are gonna be a little different. Right now we're testing top speed on my custom speedway. This is where it gets kind of fun. So the way I test, it's a bunch of different things to look at and sometimes people like to leave after this portion. Well, you're probably gonna wanna stick around for the laps because each one of these cars has a unique strength. They're all really even when we start to look at overall performance in the end and it's a fun way to look at it. But right now with top speed, this new Devastate 155 is very fast for a supercar, which sounds weird, but for some reason sports cars are faster in this game than supercars. It's still really fast, and those other times are decent, but that Cyclone 2, its speed score is going to hurt a little bit with it being down there. We're putting the Weaponized Dignus and Cyclone 2 against each other again, and if you've already seen these videos and you've seen this battle, feel free to jump ahead to about 404. You can see the Devisti 8 in action, but you can see the acceleration from the Cyclone 2 is so intense, and we saw that in the quarter mile test. It has tons of understeer, it's tough to control, but the acceleration actually makes up for it because it is so quick. It's something that we've seen before with the Calico GTF where maybe it doesn't handle great, but it just blows things away in a straight line. Now though, we see the weaponized Ignis start to come back on the Cyclone 2. And the weaponized Ignis is fast, but it's incredibly nimble. And you can see the benefit of that as we head down to this start finish line. Through that last tight sector, it pulls out a pretty big lead. The Cyclone 2 is gonna try to catch up, but it cannot quite get there. It almost does. It's a fun battle between those two. So now, can the Devastate, the VST8, I hate that there's so many different ways to say its name. Can it keep up with the weaponized Ignis? It's gonna be a huge task. And one thing that the Devastate has that's maybe not great is a really long wheelbase. And in that hairpin, you can see it slowed it down. Now we have another tight corner. This is a technical track. And through all of these tight corners, it doesn't necessarily understeer, but that long wheelbase really doesn't do you any favors. You have to slow down more and wait longer until you can get back on the gas. So on a technical track like this, that weaponized Ignis is just starting to blow it away. You can see the reverse start finish line at the top of the screen there. That's where the weaponized Ignis is and the DVC8 just got there. But now we're going down that reverse start finish line 
through the last tight sector. We know that a VC8 is faster in a straight line, but it's not going to be able to make up that gap. So we have a different car winning in every single test. What does that mean? We're going to take a look at that in a second. We know the weaponized Ignis now is the fastest of these on my test track. 52 second laps for those two cars is unbelievable. A 54 second for the Devastate is really good as well. That's about Krieger Emerus level. Looking at the speed score, which is all this information put together in a custom equation, they're all really quick. But that goofy weaponized Ignis is at the very top there. And overall, when you put everything together, it's just fast enough as far as top speed goes. It's very quick when you're looking at lap times and handling. So overall, I would say that is the best car of these three. The most fun is probably the Cyclone from the acceleration. And the Devastate is just good all around. It's a blast to drive. It really is. Looking at this car and the early access with GTA Plus, you might be mad at me for spending money on this and whatever. But for somebody like me who's trying to get my name out there as a YouTuber, this actually is really useful. For somebody like you, maybe, it's probably not something you're going to want to spend your money on. The 599 is insane. That car is a lot of fun. The new Devastate is really good but you'll get it eventually. It depends on how long this early access period they're talking about is. I would wait to see that before you go on and buy it. Really, all these cars are awesome, and there is a good enough amount of balance between these three to where they're gonna be pretty competitive when you're racing. Rockstar tracks are not near as technical as this for the most part, so that Devastate might actually be able to keep up, but if you wanna win some races, according to my testing, the weaponized Ignis is probably the way to go. Thanks so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope to see you next time.